MS Anson, dubbed the most advanced submarine ever built by BAE Systems, has today been officially commissioned into the Royal Navy during a ceremony in Barrow and Furness, Cumbria. The submarine is 97 meters long with a displacement of 7,800 tons in the nuclear-powered submarine and is the fifth of seven in the Astute class. Astute submarines are recognized as the most technologically advanced attack submarines ever operated by the Royal Navy. The traditional naval ceremony was attended by a number of dignitaries, including the submarine's lady sponsor, Julie Wheel, the Australian Deputy Prime Minister Richard Marlis and UK Defence Secretary Ben Wallace. Mr Wallace highlighted the significant milestone that this commission is in the UK and for Australia's preparation to confront growing threats to the Liberal Democratic order, especially in the Indo-Pacific. Not only have we progressed our defence planning, Mr Wallace said, but Minister Marlis participated in the commissioning of our latest attack submarine, on which Royal Australian Navy submariners will be embarked as we develop our shared capabilities in the years ahead. Built in a UK shipyard, HMS Anson demonstrates the very best of British industry, sustaining our world-leading subsurface capabilities and underlining the UK's readiness to contribute them to shared security, especially with our closest allies Australia and the United States under the AUKUS initiative. BAE Systems Chief Executive Charles Woodburn said, the astute class submarines are among the finest engineering accomplishments in the world. As the custodian of the UK's submarine design and build capability, we're incredibly proud of the role we play in the delivery of this strategic national endeavor. BAE Systems has delivered the first four submarines in the astute class which are currently in service with the Royal Navy. The sixth and seventh boats are in an advanced stage of construction at Barrow. The Dreadnought class submarines, which will replace the Royal Navy's Vanguard class, carrying the UK's independent nuclear deterrent, are also being designed and built in Barrow. Manufacturing work is well underway on the first two of four Dreadnought submarines, with the first of class due to enter service in the early 2030s, 